Well, hello and welcome to the Web Monkey Show. My name is Alex, and today marks day three of the five part series on SEO tactics. Now, in day one, we discussed how you can increase your click through rates by writing powerful headlines. And then yesterday, we covered how you can analyze your website speed using the GT Metrics tool. So, if you haven't seen any one of those videos, I'll recommend that you check them out and then come over here and watch. Uh, today's tutorial. Now for today, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can fix one of the most common issues that you might have when using uh, GT metrics. And that is the issue with uh, serve scaled images. You can see right here, this is one of my sample websites. And as you can see right now, rather embarrassingly, I have a page speed score of an F. And one of the reasons why is, is because serve scaled images, I have a complete zero right there. Now, this is a very, very common issue with most websites. So today I'm going to show you exactly what this issue is, but more importantly, how you can fix this issue. And the reason why I'm focusing specifically on this particular one is because again, it's very, very common, but it's very, very important. And it's also relatively easy to fix. So as usual, I have prepared for you a tutorial on how to fix this issue. So sit back, relax, and I will see you at the end of the tutorial. Okay, so let's talk about fixing the serve scaled images issue that you probably might have when you run your test on GT metrics. In here right now, you can see I have run the test for the webmonkeyonline.com, my personal blog. And as you can see, I don't have very good scores. My page speed score right here is C. It's at the 72%. And one of the issues over here is the fact that I do have the serve scaled images issue. I got a D. Now, if I clicked on the arrow in here and expanded this window, you can see right now that I do have two images. If I click on them, I can see right now this is the logo, which is the one you have up here. And then the second one would be uh, an image of the Elemental Page Builder plugin. Okay, so these two images are not scaled. Now, you might, you might be wondering what exactly does a scaled image, uh, what, what does it mean to have a scaled image? Basically, Sometimes when we upload images to our media library, in this case right now, if I went to my media library and I went to, uh, where was it, media library. Okay, let's take a look at this. All right now, this is the logo, all right? As you can see right now, the dimensions are 1024 by 315. This is the original size of this image. However, if I went to my desktop right now, this image right here, this has not been displayed at uh, 1024 by 315. In fact, if I right clicked on the image and I went to inspect, I am using the Google Chrome uh, browser, by the way, in here right now, you can see that the image has actually been displayed at a size of 299 by 92. Intrinsic, this simply means uh, the original uh, dimensions of the image. But you can see that despite the fact that the image is 1024 by 315 in dimensions. We're only displaying the image at 299 by 92. In other words, this image is oversized. This is why it's not a scaled image. A scaled image would be an image that's displayed using the exact same dimensions as its original size. So if this logo has been displayed at 1024 by 315, then it would be a scaled image. So the same applies to the second image right here, the Elementor image. Uh, if we went back to our back end, let's go to media library. Let's quickly look for that image. Uh, okay, here it is right here, Elementor. You can see right now it's 860 by 430. However, if I went to, oh, sorry about that. I have an issue with Cloudflare, okay, sorry about that. Uh, if I went back to the front, uh, the front page, over here you can see the image that we're displaying. Right, this is really, really small. If I right clicked, clicked on inspect, you can see that it's been displayed at 266 by 150. So again, this is another image that is oversized, and that's why we're getting the poor score uh, with the serve scaled images section. So the way to fix this issue right now would be for us to download these two images and then resize them. In this case right now, I'm going to download the Elementor image and also download the logo and I'm going to open them using Adobe Photoshop. All right, welcome back. So as you can see right now, I have opened the logo using Adobe Photoshop. So it's now time for me to resize this image. 
Now, if I asked you, okay, what size do you think the logo should be resized to? You would probably say, oh, well, it's obvious, right? We should uh, resize the image to the size indicated in here, which is, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, 299 by 92, right? And it will make sense because, again, on a desktop version, our logo is, then, is being displayed at a size of 299 uh, by 92. However, take a look at this. If I change the screen size of my window and I went towards the mobile view, you can see right now that all of a sudden the logo is now larger. The logo when displayed on the mobile view is a lot larger than when it's displayed on the desktop view. You see, there is this common misconception with a lot of people that well, obviously, elements in a desktop version would be a lot larger because the screen of a desktop is larger than a mobile phone. That is true. However, the way certain websites are designed for mobile would be different from the way it was designed for the desktop. So there is always that possibility that certain elements, even though they might look small on the desktop version, they actually become bigger when viewed in the mobile version. And this is why you don't want to rush to start resizing that image to what uh, GT Metrics recommends. GT Metrics will not take a look at the, dex at the mobile version. It will only take a look at the desktop version and then make recommendations based on that. So in this case right now, you can see that the logo, when viewed on mobile, is a lot larger. Let me just try to exp uh -huh. So there you go. So you can see right now, it's a lot larger here. Now, if I right click on the logo, when to inspect, you can see right now that the size is actually 682 by 210, which is a lot larger than the desktop version. Okay, now to complete our test, I'm, I'm going to keep on shrinking the window and see if this logo will get any bigger. And you can see right now it doesn't get any bigger. In fact, it starts to get smaller. So you can see right now that at this size, at uh, this size right here, this is where the logo becomes its largest when viewed uh, on either on mobile or on the desktop version. So in this case right now, this would be the size we need to resize our image to. So right click, go to inspect. So that's it, 680 by 210. So I'm gonna open up Photoshop, go to image, come down here to image size, change that to 682 by 210, click OK. And then of course I'm gonna go ahead now and simply save this image into my media library. Okay, welcome back. So as you can see right now, I do have the two logos. I have the original at 1024 by 315, and now have the scaled version, which is 682 by 210. So what I'm simply gonna do right now is I'm gonna go to my appearance, go to customize, and I'm just gonna change the logos. So let's go to customize, let's go to site identity, remove the old logo, select logo, Go ahead and select the new logo. Let's hit select. Let's take this down, copy everything. Let's crop the image. And there you go. So I'm going to go ahead now and simply hit publish. And voila. So now we're using the new improved scaled version of our logo. But that's not all. I'm going to go back to the media library. And I'm just going to go ahead now and delete the old one because we don't need it anymore. Delete permanently, and there you go. Okay, so now that we're using the scaled version of our logo, let's go back to GT Metrics and let's try to retest and see what the new scores are. Now you might be born, you might be thinking, okay, what would have happened if we had scaled or whether if we had resized the image to 299 by uh, 210, which is what GT Metrics recommended? If we resized our image to that dimension, the image will become stretched when it's viewed on mobile. Okay, that's why we didn't, we, that's why we decided to resize the image to uh, 682 by uh, 210 instead. Okay, so you can see right now, we do have an improved score of now C73. Okay, not too bad. Now, if I open this, you can see right now that it's still telling us about the logo, that again, you know, it's uh, it's been scaled from 682 by 210 to 299 by 92. But again, there isn't anything that we can really do about this because again, if we resize this image to 299 by 92, 
when the logo becomes viewed on mobile it will be stretched it's not going to be clear that's why we just need to stick with it at 682 by 210. now if i really really wanted to get this image to be scaled what i could do is to resize the logo to 299 by 92 but then i'll have to change the design of the mobile view so that the logo is displayed at exactly 299 by 92. I could do that, but it's not really worth uh, the hassle. So what I'm gonna do right now, very simply, is I'm going to do the exact same thing for the uh, Elementor image. I'm gonna download the image, and then I'm going to uh, resize the image using Adobe Photoshop. All right, so welcome back. So as you can see right now, I have opened up the Elementor uh, image with Photoshop. So now we have to test to see what size we need to uh, resize our image to. So let's go back to Chrome and I'm going to open up, uh, sorry, let me just close this. Uh, let's go back in here. Okay. Yeah. This is the actual window. So right here, this is the image that's been used. You can see it's pretty small, but let's just make sure that it doesn't get any bigger than this. So I'm going to change the screen and let's see. Okay. So now it looks like it got a little bit bigger. Okay. So yes, this is, I think, this is as large as it possibly gets. Let's just shrink that a little bit more. Okay, I think this should be about correct. Okay, so this is the size right here. Let's inspect. And okay, so you can see right now it's 410 by 232. So that's the size we need to resize our image to 410 by uh, 232. So let's go to image, image size, change that to 410. And of course, I'm going to click OK. And of course, I'm going to save the image right now and upload it to my WordPress website. All right, so welcome back. I have uploaded the image to my media library. So right now, I'm simply going to go ahead now and swap this image. Let's go ahead now and hit edit image. I'm going to choose the different image. So you can see right now, this is the new one that we've just cropped. You can see 410 by 232. Let's go ahead now and set that into the media. Uh, the image size, I'm going to change this to full. And I'm just going to go ahead now and hit update. And there you go. So now let's go back to GT metrics and let's retest one more time. And hopefully we can get uh, an improved score. So let's just wait for a few more seconds. Fetch insight. I hope you're having a wonderful day <laughs> wherever you're watching this. It's, uh, it's about 6 p.m. over here right now, so, okay, there you go. So it does look like we got a slightly better score. Oh, we had a much better score right now, as you can see. We now have our B. self scaled images, we now have 89. And of course, if I expand as well, it's still complaining about the logo, but hey, I'm just going to ignore that. So you can see right now, we've been able to get our score from our D up to a B and in fact we're just one mark away from uh, an A. So basically that's how to fix the serve uh, scaled images issues that you might have with GT metrics. All you need to do is basically uh, download the image that needs to be resized, open up the image using your favorite uh, photo editor, in, in this case I used Photoshop, and then go back to your website and then test to see uh, what size that image is displayed at its largest. And then you want to resize the image to those dimensions, upload the newly resized image to your media library, swap with the old one, and then simply test with GT metrics uh, once again. So that's how to fix the surf scaled images uh, challenge, <laughs> I should say with GT metrics. All right, so that's it. We've come to the end of today's tutorial, day three, on how to fix the surf scaled images issue. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please hit the like button. It really does help me. And of course, share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from today's tutorial. Now, don't forget, tomorrow is going to be day four, where I'll be focusing on content optimization. So I hope to see you tomorrow and have a wonderful day ahead of you. Cheers.